WSAZ News Channel 3, 530 edition. For months, we have been following efforts to fix problems in West Virginia's Department of Health and Human Resources. The agency touches every state resident at some point in our lives. News Channel 3's political reporter Curtis Johnson tells us today the House of Delegates cast its vote for change. The current Department of Health and Human Resources is a systemic hot mess. That assessment shared by many lawmakers, a feeling so strong, 95 delegates voting to break the department in three. But it'll allow us, through the executive, to get more focused leadership that frankly has a skill set more in line with these three divisions. The proposal splits DHHR into three different agencies by January 1st. A Department of Health Facilities, Department of Human Services, and a Department of Health. The legislation also includes a stronger inspector general with greater independence. One lawmaker calling it an internal monitor to make sure you, the taxpayer, get what you pay for. The Office of Inspector General will be able to independently investigate the departments and will provide recommendations for changes to the legislature. Previously, they could not interact with the legislature. But not everyone is totally convinced. For instance, the delegate who called DHHR a hot mess voted yes with uncertainty. I am not completely persuaded that separating it into three separate agencies is a fix. But I am persuaded that it is worth a try. I only hope that this is not the last step, but only the first step to improving these services. I don't know if this is the right way either, but I like the fact that we're doing something different. I like the fact that we're gonna try to make this better. But that uncertainty, too great for freshman delegate Henry Dillon, one of three no votes. My natural inclination is that in order to pass a bill, you need to overcome that barrier, barrier of skepticism. And for me, I tend to err on the side of caution when we're talking about making major changes in our structure of government. Governor Jim Justice vetoed a similar split last year, but revealed he may likely support the measure in an interview with me last month. But first, the bill must move to the Senate, where senators passed a very similar proposal on day one of the session. Curtis Johnson, WSAZ News Channel 3, Charleston. In related news, the Senate unanimously passed a proposal to bolster the position of foster care ombudsman. That person serves as an advocate to identify problems within the state's foster care system. Both bills need one stamp of approval before heading on to the governor.